You know, I want to ask you about this COVID breathalyzer test that's uh, the FDA just approved to a, a breath test. So how does it compare to the other tests that are out there in terms of accuracy? And, and when might you expect to see it widely available? And Aaron, I like the baited breath part of this, but the accuracy is about equal to the other ones, especially the antigen test, the rapid test we talk about. Mm -hmm. Now, the big difference is what they're saying here with an emergency use authorization is if it's positive, it's around 91% accurate. And so they want you to follow up with a PCR test if it gets positive. If it's negative, it's a little over 99% accurate. And so they're saying as long as you don't have symptoms and you don't think it's full COVID, then you can go ahead and rely on a negativity test. But what we don't know at this point is the cost, the availability, and when it's going to be available. Available. Those details are still to come, but it's one more tool we have in our tool bag to help test this uh, virus. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.